interest in the job. Okay, so so any so those of you who have uh, know any jazz, you probably know the, the, the tune I've got rhythm. So I didn't write the tune. I used that as my inspiration. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Gravitation, gravitation, gravitation. Who could ask for anything more? Gravitation, gravitation, gravitation. Who could ask for anything more? Isaac Newton, with his law, showed quite nicely how the apple hit his head on the way to the floor. All those planets in their orbits seem to follow Kepler's beautiful laws. Except for Mercury, that was quite a pain, you see, because of those 43 arc seconds you just can't ignore. Along came Einstein with curved space time and some new twists from mathematical folklore. Ritchie's scalar killing his vectors. Tenses. Tell me what on earth are those for? As we found out on Friday mornings, tensorial beauty lies in their transformation law. Geodesics are quite sublime. All that motion in terms of proper time or just a fire. It all comes down to ten equations. G mu equals eight pi t mu. <laughs> if you're ever feeling blue, then you can try to find a solution that's new. <laughs> that's what Schwarzschild did in wartime. Found curvy space-time around a non-rotating spherical star. Now we've got wormholes, we've got white holes, we've got black holes. Who could ask for anything more? How about a hole rotating? That's what Roy Kerr was the first to explore. Old Roy's metric is quite symmetric. It's just fantastic how you can't sit still in your This process tells you how to get rid of me and gain some energy. Hawking okay, once thought black holes might stop. Radiation's just like a black body. Johnny Wheeler. Beckenstein, black hole thermal, we'll leave that for another time. Now <laughs> I think that I should stop here, but I hope that you'll agree with me. Gravitation, 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 who could ask for anything more? Who could ask for?